I said, man, you know, give me a bitch, give me a bitch. So that's when I got to be around the hoes and the pimps and the culture and the lifestyle. And his brother named Star Child, he kind of gave me the game. He said, man, whenever you see a bitch, he said, ask the bitch, where you going? Where you little bitch? What's your mama name? What's your uncle name? He said, drill the bitch. He said, make sure you get all the information from the bitch. He said, that's how you going to tell what type of bitch you got. You know what I'm saying? Then, you know, he told me, he said, man, this is how you knock a nigga for the bitch. When you get him, you serve the bitch. You know what I'm saying? So I ended up knocking him for this bitch named Bridget. You know what I'm saying? I was 16, so I became legendary as a young nigga. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. Was it, okay, but, well, who was your, can you remember the first, the first hoe you ever know? Um, the very first was an old Hawaiian lady. That was the first one. The very first one. What about you, Ken? Can you remember the first one ever? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, I was. Uh, I ran away from home, me and my brother, and we was. Uh, we, was we was on the track on Twenty Fourth in California, uh, uh, Madison in California, in the in uh, Chicago, and uh, this one this one dame. She said, "You a little cute nigga," you know what I'm saying? And uh, I said, "What you do?" You know what I'm saying? She was working for this nigga named Chocolate Dice. He said, I get money. You know what I'm saying? So me and my brother, we going up and down the stairs. We seeing all these bitches half naked. We didn't know what the fuck was going on at the time. You know, then we see Don Juan and them pulling up and Chocolate Dice. All these niggas got Cadillacs and shit. And, uh, you know, uh, she ended up being in a room next to the room. So we were standing in the whole hotel. We didn't even know. So we, she ended up being in the room next to ours. And, you know, she just, you know, stopped. we just started talking. So that was the first hoe that I know was a hoe. And there was this other hoe that was hoeing with her, little light-skinned pretty bitch, right? So I'm I'm harassing her. And don't even know I was harassing Why are you doing this? Why are you doing this, right? So Chocolate Dice, he sent some niggas at me and my brother, and we ended up leaving everything in the motherfucking hotel. <laughs> everything in the hotel. They chased us, man, and we, and, and I don't know if you've been to Chicago, but they got these stairs, you go up the stairs, and it's like, uh, like, like wooden stairs, but once you go up the stairs, you can't go nowhere. So we jumped inside the garbage cans. Me and my brother, we had to hide in the garbage can. They're like, where them niggas go? Where them niggas go? That was, those were Chocolate Dice Hitman. And, uh, we hid in that. I never told this story, man. This is the first for That's crazy. So, uh, you know, so uh, that's, that was the first two hoes that I met. And that, uh, we went to, to Milwaukee. Uh, I, I met my, my man, JD. And so he had three bitches. He ended up giving me one of them hoes. That's the first hoe I ever pimped on. So, you know what I'm saying? That was my introduction to the game, man. It was a lot of niggas like the old man was saying they was on heroin, they was blowing cocaine, doing little stupid ass shit. I, I consider it stupid because I grew up, you know, under my mama thing, the Christian shit, right? So I, I knew no drugs. I still don't do no drugs to this day. You know what I'm saying? Me, uh, so I, you know, I said, man, you know, give me a bitch, give me a bitch. So that's when I got to be around the hoes and the pimps and the culture and the lifestyle and this brother named Star Child. He kind of gave me the game. He said, man, whenever you see a bitch, he said, ask the bitch, where you going? Where you little bitch? What's your mama name? What's your uncle name? He said, drill the bitch. He said, make sure you get all the information from the bitch. He said, that's how you gonna tell what type of bitch you got. You know what I'm saying? Then, you know, he told me, he said, man, this is how you knock a nigga for the bitch. When you get him, you serve the bitch. You know what I'm saying? So I ended up knocking him for this bitch named Bridget. You know what I'm saying? I was 16, so I became legendary as a young nigga. So that the, uh, the old man, uh, 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 Gordon, the dude, uh, 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 slogan he was talking about to kill Stan that's when them niggas started fucking with me you know what I mean I'd be over there with them old niggas you know what I'm saying the crib had a perm and shit you know what I'm saying that's when niggas used to wear perms and I used to be sitting up at the same beauty shop them niggas they get my hair pop you know what I'm saying go get my shoes from Nine Bush I was a young nigga but I, but I still had that gangster shit in me you know what I'm saying so I couldn't shake the gangster shit cause you know I mean, I'm I'm in the game, but you know, me and my niggas, we robbing banks and doing crazy shit. So I'm like, you know, that's really what was in me. But you know, I'm gonna try this pimp shit though. I'm gonna see how this shit go, right? You know what I'm saying? Hopefully this shit'll get me out, out out of the shit my miseries, right? But you know what I'm saying? I'm going back to the penitentiary. And then when I got in the penitentiary, I met Pimp and Pope. So Pimp and Pope, he gave me the game. He said, Listen, man, you see you gotta desensitize yourself, man. He said you can't have no feeling from the hoes. I said, well, how you end up in here, nigga? If you a pimp, why you in here with me? He said, well, the nigga Sam, dude named Pimp and Sam, jumped on his car, he shot him off the car. It's this girl named Juanita I went to high school with, you know what I'm saying? I mean, she had chose up on him, then she ended up choosing up on, on uh, Sam. And uh, 
That's why he, he shot Sam. And uh, so while he was in there, he told me, he said, man, you know, there's no difference between an in-pocket bitch and an out-of-pocket bitch. He said, man, listen, man, he said, bitch, you better go from this motherfucker in the best part of that, in the best part of the tongue still sticking your dick, your dickhead not losing the drop. He said, bitches love instruction. He said, whatever you do, you get bitch instruction. Hey, clean my shoes, wash my clothes. You know what I'm saying? He just So that's how I really got acclimated with the gang. So when I came home, the first prostitute I met after I got, you know, when I'm ready, really ready, was a bitch named, uh, God damn, man, Nancy. So then I met Curlin, and that's really sparked my career. And from there, you know, I just started, you know, like Michael Jordan, I just started, when I get in the air, I, I tried another move, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And next day, you know, Nicks was trying to show me how to pill, but I was the slickest talking nigga on the blade, you know what I mean? So I'm spitting it like a Uzi, you know, I had an Uzi in my mouth. <laughs> you know what I mean? That shit was just drilling, right? So motherfuckers just, you know, they just started liking me and shit, and then I, my dumb ass went and, and robbed another bank. Damn! And robbed another Jewish store, went back to penitentiary. Got out, you know what I'm saying, me, and, you know, uh, I come up with uh, this other bra named Tangie and uh, CC. It was on off to the races. So I, was, I, I, I was pimping like 95 going north, you know what I'm saying, and uh, Niggas love me everywhere I go because, you know, I've I always been a cool dude. You know, this this image that I have, this ain't no fake image. I've always been humble and cool. But I've been a gang. I was a gangster, but I was a humble gangster. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I went to wild, nigga. I'm like, if you fuck with me, nigga, I'm going to sleep under your porch. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, I'm going to stick a bitch on you. I'm going to get you. That's the kind of gangster I was. I went to kind of, yeah, you know, I ain't have a gang banging and shit. No, I just, just, niggas knew not to fuck with me. You know what I'm saying? Because I didn't play that shit. You know, so, uh. And then after that, it just was pimping on, you know. And that's how I met Rome, you know what I mean? And I met him, you know what I'm saying? When I seen him with them 17 bitches, and I seen them pimping like a motherfucker, you know, he, like I said, he came to my party. He had 10 bitches with him, you know. And, and my niggas was like, God damn, you know. They was like, what's what's going on? I said, this ain't even the squad, nigga. This just, this just the party. <laughs> I said, they got seven more bitches somewhere else, right? <laughs> and, you know. I, I, That's crazy as hell, man. Hey, man, but you know what, though? The crazy thing about Rome is uh, when I came to Dallas, I wasn't hearing about him. I was hearing about other pimps. You know what I'm saying? Man, this pimp, this, this pimp, that, this pimp, this, this pimp, that. And I would hear about them. I never seen they hoes. There was some giants in the town, but I never seen they bitches. I seen a couple bitches ride up and down that I might have sweat on the blade on the track. You know what I'm saying, me? But I never seen it whole, but when I stopped fucking with Ron, I seen him actually, you know, like people tell me, man, I ain't never seen Pippa Kim with 16 bitches. I had them, but they ain't never seen them. <laughs> but Rome had 17 bitches, and I really seen them. And I, and you I seen them with him? Yeah, he, 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 that man, I man, I got the movie. And my, right. I got the movie, I got part two. I don't even really show it. it right. uh, uh, that movie I showed you, I'm gonna give you part two of it. You gonna see it. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gon' talk.